Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So we're getting near the end of 2017. It's almost here, you know, we're Hanukkah's here, Christmas is almost here, New Year's is almost here, and we know that over the last few months your competition has just been sliding down. Well, now it's not even sliding down, it's just free falling, okay? The competition is really not out there. So for the agents that are still working, still pushing, still staying active, you're probably looking at your numbers going, wow, this is fantastic. I'm having an amazing fourth quarter, a great December, all the above, you know? So if you're one of those agents that's not really putting in the work, it's not too late, okay? To really, really push hard these last couple weeks and make something really great happen in 2017 and set up your 2018, okay? So don't give up just yet. Keep out there, keep pushing, keep fighting, keep putting in the work, all right? So. On that theme, what I wanted to do today on our Three Things Thursday is give you three success stories I've had just in the last week of real estate agents that I coach that are relevant to the time of year, okay? Now, we could go over win after win after win throughout the year, but these three wins were very particular because it has something to do with the holiday season, okay? So I wanted to share those with you as A, either motivation, Okay, to say, all right, let's keep going, let's keep going. Or maybe it's some tips that you're like, well, I didn't really think about that, that these agents are doing. So I, great success stories, I wanna share them with you. Hopefully they can help you really push towards the last couple weeks of the year, get something good going, okay? So let's jump right into it. So the first win I wanted to share with you, and this actually happened on a couple occasions just the other day. Um, I had a couple agents, set, not a team, separate agents, tell me that they just opened up escrow with a buyer and it was the first time all year that they had submitted an offer where they were the only offer on the property. Okay, so think about that. We're in a low inventory market, especially out here in Southern California, wherever you are, it's probably the same thing. So you've probably seen throughout the year that when you're submitting offers for buyers, most of the time it's multiple offers um, on the property because they just don't have the inventory, there's a lot of buyers out there. Well, here we are, we've had multiple examples where just in the last week, they submit an offer and they go, you're the only offer on the property. And I'm not talking about, I've seen the properties, I'm not talking about dumpy properties where it's like, well, yeah, nobody wants that property. Regular, standard, move-in ready properties, but they didn't have multiple offers because their agents aren't out there working, pushing their buyers into properties. Uh, it's a bad choice to pushing your buyers, but what I meant like working with their buyers to get them into the properties they want. They've taken the time off, so now the buyers are taking their time off, okay? So what a great opportunity. So my recommendation to them, my recommendation to you, is call your buyer clients that maybe have been frustrated because, well, we keep submitting offers and there's multiple offers and I'm just frustrated with the process. Call them and say, hey, look it, we have multiple examples of buyers getting into properties right now and they're the only offer on the property. So if you've been frustrated with multiple offers, we might be able to get you into something now, okay? There's still properties out there being sold, but there's not as many buyers out there putting in offers because there's not as many agents working. So maybe a really great opportunity for your buyers there to start looking at properties again and get in there with no offer. So I, I thought that was really great. Another example of if you're out there working, you can get some more deals done. So call your old buyer leads that have been frustrated. Let's see if maybe before the year ends, we can get out there and see some properties, okay? So that was the first win. I thought that was really neat. And again, that happened to a couple agents, not just one. So the other win I wanted to share with you is I had an agent tell me the other day, they called an expired listing. Now, we know typically expired listings, and a new expired, not an old expired, a new expired, that expired listings by nine o'clock, they've been called 20 times. Now, you're not supposed to start calling until eight, but we know people call at seven and things along those lines. And like, I'm not here to rain on anyone's parade or call ethics committees or anything like that. You do you, do you man, whatever's gonna make you money, you go for it. Um, but we know that's the reality of the situation. So we had an agent call a brand new expired and it was 9.30. And they, they started out by saying, hey look, and I know you've probably gotten a bunch of calls from real estate agents, so on and so forth. And the expired listing said, actually you're the first phone call I've gotten today. 9.30 for a brand new expired and it was the first call they had gotten that day. That's unheard of, it's crazy, right? Now, that's not the norm. You might be calling expireds and you're, again, the 20th person to call by 9.30, but just the fact that that happened 
shows again proof that there's not agents out there working. And here's the thing, what was really fascinating is that agent actually set up an appointment with that um, expired listing. I don't know if they got the listing yet. They're still, well, I know that they don't have a listing yet. They're still working on it. You know, we're get going over those objections of waiting till after the holidays, so on and so forth. But they actually set the appointment. Okay, so at amazing opportunity. So when you're calling expired listings, know that, hey, look, there's a chance that there's not a lot of agents calling them, so maybe I can be the one that gets in the door with these expired listings. So a really great opportunity there. So think about that. Don't get frustrated. Keep pushing. Keep going. Call the expireds. Don't worry about thinking, well, they've already been called 20 times. They might not have been called at all. Okay. I mean, and that's just another proof there of what's going on in the market. You could set an appointment and get another listing. Okay. So that's the second one I have. I thought that was really neat. The third thing is something that you're probably tired of hearing about, but as long as we keep getting wins on it and people still aren't doing it, we're going to keep bringing it up. So we have an agent that's probably a lot like you that doesn't want to call their past clients and centers of influence. Okay, because I don't want to sound salesy and you guys, you already know my quote, if you don't want to sound salesy, you shouldn't be in sales. But anyways, you know, I don't want to sound salesy, I don't want to ask them for business, I'm not comfortable, so on and so forth. Okay, you're just giving away your gold mine, no problem. So we convince this agent, why don't you at least call them and wish them happy holidays? Not a car, not an email, a phone call to say, happy holidays, how are you? Okay, so they did this, and on the fifth call, they had the person say, hey, by the way, are you still in real estate? Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. Great, oh yeah, you know, actually, you know, we've been looking into potentially selling our home because we want to downsize to something smaller, the kids are out of the house. Um, yeah, sure, when can we get together? And they went out and set the appointment and took a listing. On the fifth call, just by calling their past client centers of influence and wishing them happy holidays. So we talk about this over and over and over again. You have to work your database past client centers of influence. So if you're one of those people that, uh, Robert, I don't want to do it, and I know you're out there, at least call them to wish them a happy holidays and remind them that you're in real estate because you could potentially get some. We just took a listing of someone doing that. Just call them to wish them a happy holidays and they said, are you still in real estate? Don't not a letter, not an email or something like that, call them. Wish them happy holidays, have a conversation with them. Maybe you can generate something out of it. I, I thought that was great. So now this age is picking up a phone call and everyone wishing them happy holidays. And also starting to think a little bit more about the, well, I don't wanna push on my past client centers of influence for business. They're about to get a $15,000 paycheck. You might wanna just push a little bit more. Okay, so, so think about that. So. Three really cool wins that just happened this past week that are all relevant to this time of year showing that your competition's not working. So even if you don't wanna to listen to me keep preaching it, I wanted to give you some actual examples from agents that are out in the field that are really experiencing competition down and they're taking advantage of it, getting buyers into escrow, getting expired listing appointments, getting past client centers of influence, into listings. So really great opportunities out there. Take advantage of those, okay? That's your three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel so you get all my videos, usually a couple a week. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.